I'm not saying Sunday vlogs are coming back, but it is 628 in the morning and I'm filming vlog footage. So I thought it'd be cool to take you with me to church today, um, show you how I record these in-ear monitor videos. And maybe talk a little as well about in-ear monitor mixes, that kind of thing, so. This is Jack. Jack's our MD. So first of all, what do you use for inner monitors? What uh, I use all clear. They're the Tor triples. How do you approach your inner monitor mix? I use a lot of panning. Um, the most primary instruments that I need to hear um, are piano, lead vocal, uh, a little bit of kick and snare, and then click. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll kind of sprinkle in EG, hard pan those if we're using two, um, bass, dead center. Um, not a lot of acoustic, but don't tell Matt. And I try and spread everything out so they have their designated location. Yeah. As an MD, I try and listen to what everybody is doing. So if I'm able to s isolate each thing, I can focus on what everybody's doing. This is what we use to mix ourselves. Alan and Heath. Yeah, Look, you're right. The Alan and Heath Emmy I ones. can film that. This is Cole. Cole. Cole's leading worship today. I guess that, what, what kind of in-ear monitors do you use? Man, I've got the good old-fashioned Shure 215s. Shure 215s. Man, just I got a lot of handy. That's what I'm saying, you know? How, how for, do you mix yourself? That's a great question. Uh, for me, it's a lot of what Jack's saying because mm -hmm. Jack's our MD and he does a pretty good job at it. And so, man, when we're flowing, we're moving. I want to make sure I've got him going. Uh, I'm an electric guitar player, so I like hearing the EG. So I've got... Brian panned one ear, and then whoever's on EG2 will be in the other ear. You're going to hear a lot of sauce today. Oh, it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. We're excited. <laughs> um, and then a little bit of my acoustic just to make sure nothing's out of tune or anything like that uh, so that we're not causing distractions out there. Yeah. My in-ear monitors, I've got, and we have a review of them on the channel. It's a pair of Ultimate Ears Premiers. Mm. They're 21 drivers. Yeah, they sound nice. They're actually unbelievable, but... Um, I've had to kind of get used to them. Mm. So they're a little warmer than I'm used to. One thing that's nice about this is there's a global EQ on it. Mm -hmm. So I just drop just a little bit of, of low end. If you cut low end, pull low end out, everything gets brighter. You don't have to push treble. The Ultimate Ears premieres are awesome. You said you have Ultimate Ears uh, universals. Yeah, we have the universal, the, like the church has the universal uh, set of ears and they seem to be a, dude, a hot ultimate, commodity ultimate ears are yeah this is my me one this is my monitor mixer i'm just running headphones straight out of the back of this thing i'm wired in but uh this is my mix so all of us have our own mix this is the click and then the click is made up of a lot of different things uh but you got click drums basically the drums set up here you can see that i'm running drums and bass pretty hot uh, then you've got Jack's electric guitar, my electric guitar. Uh, mine was coming in louder even though the level was lower. And then tracks, background, keys, acoustic. Uh, the rest of this wasn't used. So, oh, here's the worship leader and vocals though. So uh, that's pretty much how I have my mix set up. So now I'm gonna go through the equipment that you might need if you want to record your in-ear mix. First thing you need is something to record it with. So like a capture device. This is what I use. It's a Zoom H6. You can use anything that'll run a capture. And what I do with it conveniently, check this out. This ME1, the main headphone out that I use is this one. 
And then there happens to be convenient. How handy is the, the, the two of them? <laughs> and they're stereo. And, they're and both, the headphones are stereo. They're both stereo. So there's literally an eighth inch stereo cable. It runs out of an eighth inch stereo output. It breaks out to a two quarter inch in, in thank you, Jay. In uh, stereo, basically this is stereo, left and right. And that runs into the Zoom. And then you press record there. And yep. records it. Now we've switched to the iPhone because you're gonna need a camera to capture yeah. video. Now this is overkill. This is a Sony A7 something four. It's got a 20 mil lens. You want wide, you want a wide screen. You know what else you can use? Your iPhone, like I'm using. You can also use a GoPro. Hey, I've used a GoPro a lot. Dude, come and on. they're easy to hide, way easier to hide I than I need this. to get a GoPro. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. We'll see you in the next one. You rock. Bye. Oh, subscribe if you haven't already, please. <laughs> please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Do it now. Three, two, one, now. Do it. Subscribe now.